It's always going to need to be done. Yeah. Go fishing. It's always going to be. Go fishing. Well, we're going to go fishing today, and um, doing something, I'm going to try something a little bit different. I don't know. We're getting down in the kayaking out with my buddy Jay. We we used to uh, do heating and air together, and we he's the one who brought me up to this, this little place in the first time, or a couple times before I really got into fishing around here a lot. And um, he's going to try to catch some uh, perch on a fly. So I brought a fly rod, and I got it ready to go. But I also got a couple spinning rods, so... Try to catch some yellow perch, but also maybe some bass. But it, it's dude, it's beautiful out here today. So let's see what happens. No way. <laughs> I just made a cast over here at this point, just working my way up to it. Got a fish. That's a solid. That's a solid bass right there. I really didn't bring a lot of stuff today. I brought a little bit, I brought some fly stuff, got one light rod and I got one like medium bass rod. It's like a 13 inch large mouth. But there's this, this lake has been, I've caught some really good bass out of it before. I don't want to only fish for bass. So I brought the other stuff, but that was just like a random cast and I got one. So I don't know how this is going to go. We may have to try for bass for a little bit. We may just change it up, go for a little bit of that, go for a little bit of that. Yep, there we go. Oh, that's not bad. Well, last night I had planned to kind of go for perch, but that's another probably 13 inch largemouth. And um, this, this is pretty quick. I was going down this wall. I figured to catch something pretty quick. So I may have to fish for a bass for a little bit. I'm gonna go back, like I said, I'm gonna go for a few different types of lures and a few different fish. Just a bluegill right there. But yeah, I just had a eagle fly over, so I'll take it as a good sign. There we go. Well, this is like the main fish we were gonna go for, and it's a yellow perch. That's a little one, but there's a lot up in here. And that one was on a Bobby Garland. So one of the goals is to catch one on a fly rod, but I kind of wanted to locate a bunch of them. And, uh, ouch, man, they got some sharp uh, fins or gills, gill plates. If I catch another one here real quick, I may just sit right here and try to catch one on a fly. Here's one. That's a bluegill. Oh, that's actually a red breast. So that's actually another species. That's actually our fourth species of fish, uh, red breast sunfish. I'm gonna get you back. There we go. Red breast. Guys are digging. Uh, that's another red breast. I'm kind of casting over there on the on the bank in the shade, and that's probably where more of the sunfish are hanging out. But that's a really pretty red breast right there. Another one, a flopper. Would you calm down? All right, let's try to find those perch. There we go. It's my, it's my second yellow perch, but they're both been real tiny. I haven't caught any big enough ones yet. Now, I started right here and I started getting bites, so I'm gonna work my way down from here. 
I caught these on the on the Bobby Garland. Now I'm gonna try the fly rod. Yeah, no, these have been tiny. If I catch anything decent, I might. A little bit more. Got one. Oh, he's tiny. First one on the fly. <laughs> he's like three inches long. He hit it though. He hit it pretty good. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. There we go. Oh. Here we go. Oh, a little one. Well, I found them. I can catch them with my Bobby Garland. I think I'm just covering more water. And also, when they hit it, I can feel it more sensitively because I'm reeling it slowly in. Let me get a big one. Oh. A cool little fish for sure. They do get bigger than that, but there's a lot of them that size out here. They just, you get in the school, tons of schools of just tons of them that size. Well, that's a good one. He thought he was. Hey, it looks solid. I haven't got anything that big out of the purge. I've only got tiny ones. Oh, there we go. There we go, I got a decent one. Oh, it's a bread breast again. Yeah, there are a bunch of them over here. Nice red breast. This thing is quite hard. There we go. All right, there's one more on the fly. It's another little perch. There's some little guys here, so. I just kind of wanted something wanted to try doing and it worked out pretty good, especially when you come to an area where there's a bunch of fish. <laughs> I need to do it more. It's the first time I've ever fly fished out of a kayak too. Pretty sure it is. But I think I'm gonna switch, go back, maybe catch some, try to catch some bass and move her in this little cove over here. We're getting bites right away on there. Let us hit, let us hit. I wouldn't, ooh. I wouldn't think they would be that finicky. No, I figured they'd be right on it. They've hit everything else up there. Where'd they go? Do you see them over there on that side? There was like, oh, yeah. There he is. That's the best way to catch me, not paying attention. <laughs> that way I didn't jerk too soon. Look at me, I'm like a pro over here, catching blue on a popper. Well, I don't know if it's a popper or not. It doesn't have like the popping thing. Is that still a popper? Yeah, it's still a popper. It's still like a, it's just a floating little thing, but there's a blue, what's it called? The boogle bug. Oh, boogle bug. I, I'm gonna go over and try to hit that bank real quick and then I'll be working my way back up. You do whatever you want. I'm gonna start going that way. Yeah. I just want to try, I just want to try to catch one good bass now that I've already caught all kinds of other stuff.
Wow, that didn't take long. Not a bad large mouth. I threw the chatterbait for just a little bit. I threw a weightless for just a little bit. Then I put a jig head on it. Got a fish. Oof. We're just gonna fish a little bit more and uh, we're about to head back in, but I gotta go up through this bank with this lure. There could be some good fish through here. Oh my. Well, that one came off. Two bites pretty quick right there. Oh, that's a solid fish. That's a good fish right there. He's out here in the middle, sort of. Good time. Good thing I took a little time to bass fish. Oh, probably a 16 inch. It's kind of skinny. Got a big head on him though. Got a weird scar on that side right there. Alrighty. There's one. Well, like I said, I'm not doing a ton of bass fishing, but we've caught some good fish today. Nothing giant, but just, you know, solid bass. Holy cow, I was passing it and it was there. That's a good one. <laughs> uh, I was just kind of going by it. I was hoping to get one good one today. I mean, my rod's a little bit, it's just a medium rod. But he is, um, he's a solid fish. Get him up here. Yeah. Well, he's at least a two and a half pound largemouth. I said it a few times. I didn't really, I, I fished for some bass about half the time I've been up here and then trying to do other things. And now I'm working my way in. I'm trying to catch up with my buddy. We're kind of heading in and, and I keep catching fish. Like I, I definitely could catch a lot more, I think if I was to stay out here, but I'm, I'm gonna come back and do some fishing here in the fall for bass fishing. But that's a probably a, that's probably a 17 inch. He's two and a half, two, two and a half pound right there. Nice bass. All right, that might be the last fish of the day. That's a good way to end it. So I caught a lot of fish on these Bobby Garland pile divers. Um, just a regular Bobby Garland. And my bass, have, I think most of them have all been on uh, just a June bug, four inch yum dinger. And I, most of them, I think I, I think actually all of them on the 1 16th ounce jig head. I threw it weightless a little bit and then I went back to the jig head and just kind of worked some of these banks and that's, dude, I caught, I was catching one every probably 20 minutes or so when I really was trying to catch bass. So, dude, good time out here. 
caught a fish on a fly rod, caught a bunch of different species, caught some on my light rod, some bass on the bass rod. Hey, good time out here. It was a kind of a different kind of trip, but mixing things up, learning stuff. Maybe I'll do some more on the fly. Maybe I'll do some more bluegill fishing with a popper. Um, but I don't know, but good time out, out here.